I am just about to head off. Did you like my jumper? I'm just about to head off to um, do my second school crossing of the day. Um, and then I, controversially, I thought I might go into town afterwards. I've got to go um, to the pharmacy and pick up my meds. And then, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice day and I'm working all weekend. So I thought it might be quite nice to go for a bit of a walk and take you with me. Um, since it's all about me today because Sean's away. The days slip away from me, but the afternoons I enjoy. So, um, it was very frosty this morning. Um, and now the sun is out and it's kind of cold and sunny and bright. So I think it might be quite a nice little thing to go into town and have a wander around, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll do my school crossing first, decide what I'm going to do. Um, if not, we can just hang out at home. Back from town, I got myself a cup of tea and some toast. I'm really glad I went to town actually. Um, I think like it's just good for my mental health to get out there. I found some presents for my nieces and a couple for Sean. Um, so all is good. It's 
cold out there. Um, full disclosure, I did buy myself a book. Sean, maybe just look away for now. Um, to be fair, I did have um, some money on my Waterstones card, so it covered half of the, the price of the book. Um, and I just kind of fancied buying myself some poetry, and I know, it's not good. It's not cool. Um, but uh, it's because I was just, just before I, I left, I, I'd finished off reading this. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about this in a second. But I think I was just in like, and the idea was I was going to go and go and drink a coffee and, you know, I didn't bring a book with me. So I thought, oh, I'll buy a poetry book. Anyway, um, I bought this. I don't know who August Kleinzahler is, August Kleinzahler. This is Sleeping It Off in Rapid City, New and Selected Poems. So I just kind of had a flick through in the shop and I really liked the poems, <laughs> you know, so I, I bought them. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad I got this, a little treat for myself. And, you know, like I said, I, I had some money on my card to spend, so... Um, so it ended up being quite cheap. Um, and I, I love a good Faber and Faber poetry collection. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, it says uh, he was born in Jersey City in 1949. He's the author of four books of poems in the UK and a prose memoir. It says Mr. Kleinzahler, who has lived for several decades in San Francisco, writes mo most often in a strongly accented free verse that is among the most articulate and alive sounds American poetry is currently making. Um, and then New York Times said his personality combines Allen Ginsberg's goofball charm and Norman Mailer's inveterate pugnacity. pugnacity. So yeah, I mean, it's a good kind of solid American poetry. I think that's going to be good. Um, so yeah, anyway, so... Uh, yeah, I finished Amanda Paradise. I, I did kind of show you that a lot of the collection is kind of just like weirdly shaped little poems. Um, in which, And also, um, at the end, there are some kind of short um, pieces explaining, um, I guess, you know, the, the basis for the collection, um, which was written during uh, the pandemic and, you know, the lockdown. So it's... Um, uh, you know, a lot of it is sort of um, mournful and remembering the dead, you know, ex-lovers, friends. Um, and a lot of it is very sort of in the moment, direct commentary on uh, Trump and um, social distancing and stuff like that as well. But I think actually this it really worked for me. And um, what I liked was that in the... Uh, in the first uh, piece of prose after the collection, or you know, as part of the collection, um, it says that Amanda Paradise is the author of this book, and by C. A. Conrad is its title. Um, I did not mention this earlier because I did not want to interrupt your conversation with the poems. And so, yeah, the resurrect, extinct, vibration um, part of it is uh, was part of a um, somatic poetry ritual. Um, there are many, many ingredients to this ritual, which I will explain. Still, the main one involves lying on the ground with speakers playing field recordings of the many birds, mammals, insects and reptiles now extinct or significantly depleted in numbers in my lifetime. From the first time I did this, I was shocked that instead of feeling melancholy from hearing these recently extinguished fellow creatures, I felt joy. I was elated, as if having a conversation with dear old friends. My guilt from these unexpected reactions braided themselves with my guilt of surviving many lovers and friends who died of AIDS. Um, and I really liked this bit. Um, one of my goals of Resurrect was to focus on eco-poetics beyond our degraded soil, air and water, and to consider the concept of vibrational absence. The World Wildlife Association's bian biannual report revealed the f most harrowing fact that more than 70% of our planet's wild creatures have disappeared in the past four decades. When a species becomes extinct, they take their sound with them. Breath, footfall, heartbeat, wing flutter, cry and song. Their absent sounds change the collective frequency of the planet, a missing melody to melt the ice. In turn, we replace their sound with our human din of metal, machines, bombs, drones and cars. 
The altered pattern of our planet's assembled resonance is my focus. When I was born over half a century ago, my infant cells proliferated on a significantly higher wild organic vibration than the cells of children born today. Resurrect momentarily returns the music of the disappeared back to the air, the body and the land. That's, that's really beautiful. Um, uh, and yeah, you know, especially the bit about, you know, us, when an animal becomes extinct, we lose their sound, you know. Um, so yeah, that was great. Um, I'm also about a third of the way through Revolutionaries by Joshua First. I read a couple of chapters of this in the wine shop last night. And I'm still getting on with it really well. It's it's really good. It's really um, flowy, how it's written. Um, and it's really, um, really evocative of the sort of post-60s kind of come down. So the, the, it's told by the son in hindsight, um, telling the story of his father, who was like a, a bit of an iconic... He's kind of like a mishmash of maybe like figures like uh, Timothy Leary... Um, Ken Kesey, uh, you know those, those sort of the merry pranksters, that kind of sixties counterculture underground kind of r rebellious figure, um, and following him, you know, uh, f post sixties as his sort of star declines. So it's from the point of view of you know him as a child um, observing. Uh, this kind of iconic figure, culturally like uh, important figure, being sort of redefined through different eras, you know, as like the seventies uh, backlash against like you know, the hippies and the flower children kind of um, s sunk in. So did like this this character's um, you know public worth, you know. Um, it's just really fascinating. It feels really real because uh, you know there are kind of mentions of real people you know turning up like Ginsburg and Phil Oaks and There's lots about um his his mum and you know I guess how she was also a uh activist and you know suffered at the hands of this you know he was a bit of a con man really you know a bit one of those kind of uh preaching one thing but not necessarily living out your ideals to a certain extent or like losing your ideals through the years um and she's a fascinating character she feels really real um i really lo like that um kind of that narrative of a child ex describing their complicated mum for some reason I, maybe i can really relate to that but i, I really like that and i really you know i love that in shuggy bane for example um so yeah i mean I'm really enjoying this. It's um, it's not an author I've ever heard of, or a, or a book that I've sort of seen anyone mention. But it's not particularly old. It came out in uh, 2019. Yeah, I, I, I'm 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 really enjoying it. Um, and that's it for now. I think I will um, go and make some dinner proper in a in a bit, and watch a movie, uh, and and call it a day. Um, I hope that was all right. I, I, I don't know what Sean's been up to today. I know that it's been snowing uh, in Aberystwyth. We haven't had any snow here because um, we hardly ever do in Cardiff. Um, so and, yeah, and I got loads of compliments on my um, Christmas kitten jumper, um, which I was wearing because uh, it's Christmas jumper day at the school, so all the kids are wearing jumpers. One of the kids was like dressed as a Christmas tree which is great um, and it was also the Christmas fair which I didn't get a chance to go in to have a look at but I could hear that there was some sort of um, there's a, like a Christmas choir which is always quite emotional um, kids sing Christmas songs um, hope you had a good one and uh, I'll see you soon <laughs>